We have a group of 10 pieces of Cape furniture which come from the property of a gentleman and were originally housed at Fergelechen in Somerset West. The colonial teak and brass mounted kist is a fine example, together with the most wonderful gate leg table, where this, a similar example is, is in the Koopmans de Vet House in Strand Street, Cape Town. There is also a stinkwood and caned rusbunk, very much in the 18th century style, but a 19th century example. From the same collection are two rather lovely calendar prints, a view of Table Bay and Cape Town. These were originally from the property of Sir Lionel Lady Phillips and sold for 32 guineas each. They are now estimated at four to 6,000 for the pair. There are two lovely examples of Boer War memorabilia. They are a violin, which belonged to Mr. Truscott, and he was interned in the Ishawi camp in Zululand. It's inscribed on the side, and the interesting thing about the violin was that the prisoners were allowed to order a book on how to make a violin. There's also a very nice prisoner of war Fruitwood box from the Bermuda camps, which is signed by Mr. Lansbacht. Strauss and Company are the leaders in the market when it comes to selling and auctioning fine Cape silver. And we're very lucky this on this October sale to have two fine examples, including its two-handle sugar bowl by the unknown maker HNS, late 18th century, and a very beautiful teapot by Willem Gottfried Lotter. We also have a fine collection of caped flatware, which predominantly made by the maker Johannes Combrink, and all from the first half of the 19th century. From the same owner of the very fine cape collection, we also are privileged to offer a superb George III Guild cartel clock by Edward Clark of London. It was originally sold by the contents of Fairhelech in 1942 and was lot 304. The estimate is 25 to 30,000 and is inscribed with a label on the back, uh, Mr. L. Phillips. From the same collection, we have a pair of magnificent George II style brown leather and mahogany wingback armchairs and a pair of George III giltwood armchairs. Each pair equally well made. From that same collection where provenance is so important, we have a George III style mahogany linen press, also bearing wonderful labels on the reverse for Sir Lionel Phillips and Tiley Hall where he resided in the United Kingdom. A further highlight on this auction is the French Ormolu Mountain Rosewood Commode from the 18th century. It has the most splendid zoomorphic mask handles and wonderful mounts. It was formerly the property of Punch and Cynthia Barlow, Fergelich in Somerset West. We have a fine collection of 20th century continental silver, including a Danish grape pattern silver tazza by Jorg Jensen, post-1945. The splendid example is 30, 31 centimetres high and the estimate is 120 to 160,000. From the same period, we have a French silver metal two-handled pedestal coupe by Jean de Prix. This beautiful example, which is, has hammered sides and spherical bosses, is estimated at 180 to 200,000. From the same period, a wonderful and beautiful Haganah wood and copper figure of a dancer. This auction offers many fine examples of Chinese porcelain and of particular note is a Chinese blue and white jardinier from the Qin Dynasty, 19th century. This beautifully painted hexagonal jardinier would complement any home and with an estimate of eight to 10,000 seems extremely reasonable. From a slightly later Chinese period, the Guangxi period, 1875 to 1908, is a splendid butterfly vase, delicately painted in shades of orange and pinks and blues. This beautiful vase would enhance any collector's collection.